Zell boy army welcome to another spicy one on the channel in this one we are looking at the best cheap midfielders on fifa 22 might be a few surprises in here as always i'm going over the top five major leagues starting in the premier league this time yuri tillemans you're probably going to think in zell how's a guy with 63 pace going to be in there i wouldn't have two players like yuri tillemans in your team but he is so cheap right now like a few thousand coins one, he'll probably hold his value purely on his rating. But two, five-star weak foot, four-star skills, insane passing stats. I wouldn't have two playmakers like him in there because I think he'd be a bit lightweight and need a bit more physicality. But on this game, I don't feel pace is quite essential. Obviously, it's early days and things can change. Patches can come. But for me right now, Yori Tillemans is a really solid all-round card. Definitely recommend him if you're putting him next to a physical midfielder. Saul pretty well-rounded uh got quite a decrease on his card this year four star week was nice generally speaking i'm either going to look for some insane stats in certain areas so we've got to have a player like zakaria early zakaria later who's not very good going forward but he's going to be great physically and defensive whereas tillerman's really bad physically because of the pace but so good at passing with the weak foot skills that he makes the list so Sowell's getting put in here as an all-rounder most players on this list are just going to be decent all-round midfielders we're not looking at any players with like 90 plus stats across the board because at the end of the day this is a cheap beast video fred um four star four stars very nice on him don't really get how he justifies four star four star but he's got it great on the ball solid all round um not really too bad at anything other than shooting but a very good cheap beast in the prem to start with basuma Probably underrated on his pace and not a great weak foot, but he's like a 500 coin card. Will be good at the start. Sissoko, worst card he's had in a few years um, after he's left Spurs, but um, still usable. Just nowhere near as good as he used to be. Three star, three star, but he's just your destroyer midfielder. He's still okay on the ball compared to some of the other ones. Really good physical stats. Now moving to the French League, we've got, what's his first name? Hussem Awa. Four star, three star. If he had four-star weak foot, it'd be amazing, to be honest. Um, very well-rounded, but just not good enough across the board to get into like a top team. But good on the ball, very nice passing. Um, he can do a bit of everything. Lucas Paquera, four-star freestyle. There's a lot of those in this. Um, very well-rounded again. Very similar card to Awar in some ways. One less pace, same f shooting, two less passing, two less dribbling. Three more physical, no, seven more physical, three more defend. Very similar cards. Camera from Marseille, three star, three star. Obviously, he's going to hurt that card being that. He's basically a destroyer, but he's almost like a bit of a cheap Kante in some ways, I'd say. Renato Sanchez. I'm putting him as a cheap beast on the base of he's going to be so much cheaper than he probably should be that he's going to be put on here for me. He's not cheap right now. He's going to be like 20, he's 27 and a half thousand on PS right now. And that's extinct. He could rise more than that. But if you can get this card for under 100k, he's that good in terms of how I play a game. I don't really get how he's an eight, only an 80 with some of the stats he has. He's got 80 plus of those physical stats. He's got really good pace. He's shooting solid enough. His passing's fine. Four star, four star, I believe. Like, crazy card. Pros are going to be watching. Uh, pro pros and watching saw some type of the chat about boys alive um so that's you're saying tom's gone live so um yeah i don't know if you saw it today by the way any watching this video you might notice my xl overlay here i've been announced there as the new fifa manager for xl and we've signed tom from hashtag as our pro player so get involved watch some of the streams but renato sanchez is going to be absolutely outrageous as always if he gets these special cards pros gonna love him for father Four star weak foot and three star skills this time. Nice card. Not going to set anything on fire, but very solid card to start with. Claude Maurice. This guy's really solid, to be honest. Um, rapid, like one of the quickest midfielders in the game at 87 pace. Pretty average defending and physical, we could say, say the least. But his dribbling's going to be very nice with that 90 agility 8 dribbling. Decent all round card. Berea, um, insane on the ball. Only five foot eight and three star, three star hurts him. I see him as a bit of a Modric type player. Solid enough defending. Decent physical, but not great. Like that 95 stamina is obviously really nice there. Insane dribbling. 
um, because of that agility balance. He's just a decent player on the game, but at this point in the game in midfield, he'll be one of the better ones. <coughs> Vidal getting worse as the game as the years go on. He's what thirty four now. Still got a four star week foot. Still got a lot of total in game stats, but this is what the worst card he's had in a few years. Still going to be a cheap beast though. Zielinski, five star week foot, quick. Again, like some of the others, the defending and physical are pulling the card down a bit. But as a, if you pair this guy with a good physical player, like you put him next to a Bakayoko or something, that is a really solid pairing in Serie A to begin with. Vera 2 would be a good partner to him. Three star, three star. Very nice all round card. I actually used to play for Aston Villa, this guy. I'm not sure he's ever made it into the 80s based on what he was like at Villa. But he is a very solid card. Definitely rate him uh, as a decent like, all rounder. McKenney. This guy's really nice as well. A lot of these cheap players, the issues you're going to find is they're either really bad physically compared to some of the other ones, or they just don't have the weak foot and skills. I don't know if it's EA doing that to hurt the players, to make them less desirable, or just that's one of the reasons these players aren't as good. But the three star, instead of four star, some of these players really obviously is going to hold them back. Tonali, pretty sure he has, pretty sure he had four star weak foot. Similar card to McKenney in some ways. Um, just lacks in some areas. He's a bit better at passing. Um, but the four star on him. Make him pretty close. I'd still probably prefer McKenny to be honest. Sabitzer. He's not insane. But for the price he's going at. He's pretty insane. He can do everything. He's fairly quick. But there isn't really a major weakness on this card. I don't think skill moves matter that much. People keep asking me what the meta is right now on this game. For the most part. I don't think there is one yet. I just think that. Definitely weak foot seems to matter to me more than skills with this nerf we've had to skill moves. Lamer, solid enough card. I don't think he's a special card, but what well, we've got three star, three star. He's one of the quicker midfielders you're going to see. He can defend well. He's got the solid physicals. Again, pair him next to a playmaker. Zakaria, now this guy's an animal. I called him the Swiss Fiera last year. Absolute beast. Got the physical stats. He ain't going to do anything for you going forward, but six foot three with that physical defended at that pace on an 80 rate card, you can't really lose out there. Jude Bellingham, four-star weak foot for him. Really nice card. The problem you're going to have with Bellingham is just not excellent at anything in particular. Hey, Laura. It, that is Laura, right? I'm just recording a video, but I'll respond to you properly afterwards. Um, six foot one. If he had four-star skills, it'd make it quite a bit nicer with that combo. But, um, yeah, he's solid. He's going to be a popular player. Mikel Marino, three-star, three-star. Hurts the card quite a bit. But the problem you're going to have with him, again, is, is that he just doesn't excel in anything particular. But that's the thing with these cards at this point of the game. You're not going to get any cheap beasts who are going to just be insane everything. Probably Renato Sanchez is the best example of that. But this guy, as an all-round midfielder, is very good early on. And Rodrigo to pause another one I like. He's got the skill moves. But... Really nice card. Um, yeah, there's lots of different options here. You probably know it's a pattern with all of them. All of them tend to be pretty well-rounded, except for a few like Tillemans or maybe Zakari who excel in the playmaker or destroyer role. And then the best one definitely is Renato. It's just can you even get hold of him? He's so rare right now. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, keep it spicy.